common ancestors were commonly pestered by leopards and lions. They were commonly dying. But through evolution, our brains found a solution to help us react to an animal attack. The high road takes so long. The low road is where we belong. In tough situations, we have dissociations. But besides that, nothing is wrong. The low road travels from reptilian brain to our emotional fear center without any strain. The low road avoids the vortex of the high road. The cortex, it chooses fight, flight, or freeze in an instant with ease and a minimum of sensory information. The high road takes so long. The low road is where we belong. In tough situations, we have dissociations, but besides that, nothing is wrong. I choose freeze, flight, or flight, and it leads to survival. Well, that seems all right. So how's the low road arrival? Imagine, dear Martha, that you're stuck at the zoo. If you see a lion, you can think it through. The lion's no threat, just use your frontal brain And you won't run screaming and acting insane It takes a little longer to use logic and reason Which is why on the savannah, to Swazin is pleasing The low road's so quick, it's like a reflex Our body simply reacts way before we expect Pop quiz! Define trauma! Your life's at risk You feel hopeless If you think you're gonna die Will you choose the road that's high If it feels like a disaster I'll take the low road That's faster The low road well chosen But now you are frozen I don't understand Can you lend me a hand? When you take the low road To avoid being Dismembered, your emotional fear center knows it needs to be remembered so it stores every nuance of sensory information so if there's any repeat it's the low road you'll be taking over and over and over and over over and over and over and over over and 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 over Tim, I get the impression you mean like PTSD But I still don't understand why I have to freeze a thought Traumatize people when they get re-triggered Cry and scream and freak out So I still haven't figured why I'm stuck in this position Perhaps your little song could use some exposition? <clears throat> There's now considered to be a dissociative subtype of PTSD characterized by amnesia, avoidance, and numbing. Indicators of this subtype are heightened verbal and analytical activity and reduced limbic or emotional activity in response to traumatic stimuli. People diagnosed with the dissociative subtype of PTSD often experience depersonalization and emotional detachment. So while we might associate PTSD with freaking out, in certain people, the, the brain takes another route. So with any repetition of traumatic stimuli, their brain chooses freeze before they can ask why. Very good, Martha, very good. The freezing impulse in an animal's brain prevents them from experiencing pain. So if you're a rat being eaten by a snake, a frozen detachment will give you a break. But if you are a traumatized dude, you might just have a weird attitude. So if any time that something is troubling, you get the feeling of emotional numbing. You're frozen and kind of detached. Anytime you feel attacked, the feeling of being helpless and frozen was the original reason the low road was chosen. So every time the low road is advised, while you're detached, you're also re-traumatized. Which is why the high road takes so long. The low road is where we belong. 
tough situations We have dissociations But besides that, nothing is wrong Besides that, nothing is wrong